at number 10. Dell 2-in-1 Laptop Dell introduced several convertible laptops this year, and the most notable include its Latitude 7285 and new XPS 13 models. The former is a Surface Pro 4 rival that includes a sharp screen, stylus, and a sturdy keyboard that more closely resembles that of a laptop than most hybrids. The latter is an updated version of Dell's already great XPS 13 that includes a flexible rotating hinge for use in different positions. Lenovo Smart Assistant Lenovo's new speaker is a slightly cheaper and more colorful alternative to the Amazon Echo. It includes eight microphones that Lenovo says can pick up speech from 16 feet away. It's also powered by Amazon's Alexa Voice Assistant, meaning you'll get access to the same array of skills that you would with Amazon's own gadget. Similarly, Lenovo is touting the Smart Assistant as ideal for tasks like answering questions, managing calendars and to-do lists, and playing music. It launches this May in several colors and will cost $130 for the standard model and $180 for a version with upgraded Harman Kardon speakers. At number 8. Razer Project Valerie When you're using a laptop for doing work, playing video games, and streaming Netflix, one screen isn't always enough. So why not include three? Razer's Project Valerie concept does just that by adding two foldable displays that expand out from the primary screen in the center. Each display is 17 inches diagonally and supports 4K resolution, and Razer says they can be used independently or together as one giant display. The downside, it weighs 12 pounds, which isn't unacceptable for a beefy gaming laptop but is way more than the average notebook. At number 7. Asus Zenfone R Asus is betting that in the near future we'll be using our phones for way more than healing Ubers, playing games, and video chatting. The Zenfone R, as its name implies, is built to provide augmented and virtual reality experiences. It supports two platforms created by Google to enable these technologies, Tango and Daydream, meaning its hardware is tailored to track motion, perceive depth, and learn about its surroundings to run R and VR apps.
Intel's credit card-sized computer, while some laptop and desktop computers are designed to be customized and upgraded, Intel is thinking about how we'll be upgrading the various internet-connected home appliances and robots we may own in the future. Intel's Compute Card, which is about the size of a credit card, is a mini-computer designed to be easily inserted into smart devices. The idea is to make upgrading gadgets like smart refrigerators, interactive retail kiosks, and connected security cameras as easy as swapping out one component. This prevents the need to buy an entirely new system. At number 4. Power Ray Aquatic Drone. Power Vision's new Power Ray drone sounds like a fisherman's dream. The waterproof vehicle is compatible with an optional fish finder add-on that uses a sonar system to detect fish and send images to the user. It operates in both fresh and salt water and includes a 4K camera that can sh At number 3, LG W Series TV. LG hopes to make large screen TVs blend into the living room as naturally as wallpaper. The company's new 77 inch TV is incredibly thin and light for its size, weighing just over 27 pounds. Similarly sized smart TVs from Samsung and Sony weigh around 80 and 73 pounds respectively. That's because LG's new TV is designed differently. The screen itself is separated from the guts of the system, which are contained in a Dolby Atmos sound bar that also includes I.O. ports for connectivity. Mattel's Aristotle is like a smart baby monitor and Amazon Echo rolled into one. The smart voice-activated speaker works with a companion camera and is intended to help with tasks like soothing a crying baby, buying more diapers, encouraging kids to mind their manners, or helping them learn a foreign language. While cord cutting has improved the binge-watching experience in many ways, its Achilles heel has always been its lack of local broadcast TV offerings. Antenna TV antennas, um, and it combines free over-the-air content with free over-the-top content all in one TV guide. Uh, it's got clear fix technology which will take the antenna signal and if it detects any pixelation it will automatically adjust to clear up the pixelation. Uh, and it allows you to enjoy free TV every